answer was he got kind of close. Yeah. What Pretty, does he say? That it, means can doesn't mean will. Can means can. He was there. According we, to the dictionary. We thought he was making that big move on the back stretch. We couldn't tell with the camera angle. And I then know. they cut wide again, and Jakob still had the pole position and held him off going around the curve. One in 332. I thought Gorley acquitted himself nicely, but this is what Ingerbertson does. He shows up to big races, and usually you can count on him for a win. Yeah, I mean, the result that should have happened happened. He's the better athlete, runner. He's in the prime of his career. But I will say, Gorley, that was like the greatest second-place finish I've seen in the past few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not of all time, but in the I past... I thought you were going to be real grand <laughs> no, with that. No, no, in the past few weeks. Because he was able to close basically with fingerprints in the entire yeah. time. They ran the basically a, a, a equivalent last lap and last 200, which is what you need to beat Jakob at a global championship. He Wait, tried to do the Whiteman play, yeah. but it's indoors, a little bit different, a little bit harder to maneuver. But he's got to come out of this being like, hey, if I'm in better position, if I make a move at a better time, if I'm just a little bit sharper, mm -hmm. I can beat this guy. Yeah. It wasn't like a separation in the final 50 meters was like a... Hey, you know, seeing like a Faith Kipiegon type, like, see ya. So we have pretty much a wrap now on the pro indoor season after this meet. But it means the men's 1500 portion is over. We have Jakob still in the pole position, I'm assuming. Yes. Where do you have Nagus vis-a-vis Neil Gorley? Who do you think had the better indoor season? I would say Nagus. They raced each other, right? I mean, so no, it, it, yeah. it'd be make, it would make weird to be like, oh, Gordley's better, even though Nagus straight up beat him. Nagus went undefeated. Um, I will say, though, like, it's a 1A and 1B between them with... They're not equal. I don't know. It feels weird saying... It's like NBA MVP. Mm -hmm. Jokic, Embiid, and Giannis. Yes, you can rank 1, 2, and 3, and you can assume the third is bad, but they're really all just a one separate from the rest of the the field. So you're saying Jakob is one and then everybody else is still grouped together? No, Jakob is one. Right. Gordley and Nagus are alone at two. Interesting. And then everyone else is three. Okay. But that could change quickly. Alex. What about like Ollie Hoare? In three. In three, okay. Interesting. What All about right. Josh Kerr in three? They're in three right Give now. Give me another name. The Kenyans in three. All of them. All of them. Every single one. Whiteman. Three. Okay. Actually, Whiteman might be DNS because he's hurt. Right. All right. So. Okay. But yeah, it's uh, Jakob, then a group of two. Yeah. And then everyone else. Yeah. This, now those people, are, can, they can join that group of two. Yeah. And the group of two can maybe join Jakob, but right now. I think we also look at this. You watch this indoor race with the perspective that he got outkicked last year at Worlds. And you're thinking, hey. Someone's hanging around. They can beat Jakob. There's not that air of invincibility. But he did do all the leading, go to the front, and that's sort of how indoor races in championships especially you know, play out. People try to get the pole position from farther out than they would outdoors. So I think it's positive for both guys. Like I, I think Gorley, he doesn't want to lose, but pretty happy that he stuck there. But I think Jakob going to the front and running 332 – I think is a statement from him too. Yeah, we just we've just seen it so many times from him that it's getting to be routine, and we're more surprised when he when it doesn't work than when it does. Yeah, and also he's just be, become so good that the story is not ever really going to be him anymore. It's all going to be about who is chasing him, right? And if you think about it, like the headlines the, coming out of this year is not Jakob running what he did. It's like ooh Nagus, mm -hmm. oh Gorley. Yeah, well you know. because because he got beat once, people are going to think. In a championship race, people are going to think when he was in really good form. They will see it happen again. Yeah. Gonna, well, they just think it's possible, right? You can envision it in your head versus some of these other bigger favorites in other running events that haven't had a high profile loss yet. It's harder to imagine it happening. But once it does, then I think it changes people's perspective.